Jay said we should do something a bit more light-hearted. And I've never done a comedy before, so I was a bit worried about that. Because comedy is really hard. Because people either laugh or they don't, don't they? There's, there's no in-between. And I was thinking about the events of March 2020, where we had a real shortage of toilet paper. And <laughs> <laughs> how it was kind of ordinary people who helped keep the world together at that point. You know, Richard Branson didn't help, Elon Musk didn't help. So it kind of made me think, well, how useful are these billionaires? If there was a global catastrophe, what would they do? And self-preservation seems to be the answer. But if they haven't got those ordinary people to keep on looking after them, then what happens? One of the other things was that we, when we were hit with, with COVID, we just we thought, we still want to make a film. We need to we want to do something. And, and this just seemed like a... I really. This is supposed to be great, dig fast, as quick, well. fun, dig and really. cheap, but it was not. <laughs> yeah, seventeen pages in two days, which is just stupid. You should be like aiming for about five or six. It could be a bit stressful. I don't know if you felt that. It was very. We had so much, so many scenes to fit in. The team that we had were phenomenal. They just pulled it out of the bag. They made their jobs. So much easier. We made the job mm. possible. We won't be doing it like that again. That's for sure. <laughs> you know. that, yeah. that is the nature of independent as well, is that you always <clears throat> got so many different constraints. It's normally budget, so meaning that you've got to, to really cram in so much in a short space of time and you're on a location and we were on a farm, you know, that's somebody's working farm, you know. There's always lots of things that make it so that you can't sit around and go, Oh, what do we do? Right, okay, let's wait. It's like, right, we're going, let's, <laughs> you're going here now, you're going here now. And it's just, you just got to get on with it. <laughs> but it was great, wasn't it? Apart from the sheep. They kept on... Oh, yeah. yeah. The sheep kept on kind of like um, trying to get involved. <laughs> and that was, uh, <laughs> yeah, that was a hassle. So... Next time, if we're going to do work in those circumstances, we will hire a shepherd. <laughs> <laughs> midges. We were lucky with the midges. Yeah, but that's, again, good planning because there's only certain times of the year that you can film without the midges. And we were so close to the point where the midges season was about to take off and we worked with a, a wildlife surveyor who was very like, no, these are your dates, you cannot. And I was saying to Luke, we can't go past these dates. We're like, what about these dates? I'm like, nope, nope. Midgey hell. <laughs>